we will be looking at details of digital images. The particular topics that we will be covering are field of view, image matrix, pixel, bit depth, spatial resolution, image contrast, and we will also consider the memory requirements to save images. Let's start by looking at the concept of field of view. What is field of view? And we will look at FOV from the perspective of computed tomography. Now there are two options. We can look at the scan field of view which is the actual region on the patient that is scanned during the x-ray imaging process and it's usually a circular region in CAT scan. And the image demonstrates a display field of view. This is actual image that will be displayed on the computer monitor. Now the relationship between scan field of view and display field of view is that the scan field of view always has to cover the entire region of interest. For example, if you want to scan the abdomen, you can always scan the abdomen and display a smaller region like the spine, for example. But you can't do the reverse. You can't scan the spine and display the abdomen. So the scan field of view is always equal to or larger than the display field of view. We also refer to the field of view in terms of the diameter of the region of interest. And the diameter of the region of interest is just a line going through the center or the center of rotation from one end of the image to the next. So you will see numbers such as 25 centimeters, a typical scan field of view for the head, for example. That's 25 centimeters. Or you might see 48 centimeters which would be the typical scan field of view for the abdomen. And it's referring specifically to the diameter of the region that has been scanned. Now, if your display is rectangular or square, then the field of view refers to the diagonal So your typical television set at home, you might have a 19-inch display. That is referring specifically to the diagonal distance from one edge of the screen to the next. Now let's move on and talk about our image matrix. What is the matrix of an image? A matrix is simply a set of rows and columns that you would divide your image into. So the image that's currently displayed on the screen, I can split that up into a series of rows and columns. So in this particular example, I have one row which is running horizontally across the image and the second row also running horizontally and I have two columns one column here and the second column running vertically right next to it and this would be considered to be a two by two matrix because there are two rows and two columns so this may well be the most simple 
matrix that you would find but the typical CT image is at least 256 by 256 and that would mean 256 rows and 256 columns. What's important about the image matrix is that as you increase the number you will also improve the image resolution. We will talk more about that later but before we consider the relationship between matrix and resolution we first must look at the pixel. I will outline a typical pixel in purple. The smallest tile within that matrix is considered as the pixel and your pixel which is a shortened form for picture element in this particular matrix that's two by two there will be four pixels now if I was to increase the matrix from two by two to let's say four by four try and keep it simple and that means I would put in an additional set of rows I will put in one more two more columns and two more rows so now I have one two three four rows one two three four four columns. This is now a 4x4 four four matrix and a 4x4 four four matrix will have 16 pixels. Now what do we notice about this going from a 2x2 two two matrix to a 4x4 four four matrix is that the 2x2 two two matrix had four pixels and each of the pixels was much larger than a 4 by 4 matrix. So we can make a general statement that as we increase our matrix size, right, as the number of rows and columns gets larger, the size of the pixels gets smaller. That is an inverse relationship. Higher matrix, smaller pixels. And the importance of this is in a digital image smaller pixels equates to better spatial resolution and spatial resolution has to do with the display of image detail so the general statement is smaller pixels equals 